you have listened to the plans and programs of the Dominican Liberal Party, which will seek to take Dominica to the next level. But ladies and gentlemen, a very important element of this program is fiscal prudence and responsibility. We have to ensure at all times the state finances are managed in a prudent manner. That we cannot go and take unnecessary risk and create serious problems for the fiscal situation. Because, ladies and gentlemen, one of the main reasons why Dominica is faring better than most it is because of our strong fiscal policies we've implemented over the years. And another very important element of taking us to the next level, ladies and gentlemen, is the funding for this program. And this is where we are differentiated between the opposition in terms of our programs on taking Dominica to the next level. We intend to fund this program with a mix of resources. Local resources, some, some loans, and in most part, grant funding. And most of the programs that the ministers and members of parliament and candidates articulate to you here this evening, we already have secured a large proportion of the resources to implement those programs. As a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, some of the resources are already in the treasury of Dominica, so that only immediately after elections, we will be ready to move this country forward and take it to the next level. But it requires also the commitment to hard work and productivity of every single Dominican. It cannot be left to the government alone to do what is required to take Dominica to the next level. We must all join hands and toil together to improve the lives of all Dominicans as we seek to bring all of us and take all of us out, out to the challenges which we confront and take us to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, it won't be easy. And if I say to you that it will be easy, I'll be lying to you. It's going to require hard work, determination, and commitment to the cause. And you, we have been tested over the last five years, in particular, where we have been able to go out there and secure the funding to address many of the social and economic challenges confronting Dominica. We will not run away from the task. We won't sit on our hands and cry. We'll go out there and get a job done as we have done in the past. And we have no doubt, ladies and gentlemen, that on December 18, 2009, you will give us a renewed, increased mandate to take this country to the next level. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this party is not about character assassination. It is not about innuendo and propaganda. It is about the welfare and well-being and the future of our country. And tonight you saw us, as you've seen us over the last several days, articulating a vision and a plan for taking Dominica to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a program, a manifesto, that has been prepared by some of Dominica's best talents and also our engagement of youth for Dominica. This is your document. And I urge you tomorrow afternoon to get a copy of it and read it and examine it. Keep it with you. Because you will be charged with responsibility of implementing that very important program. Let us remain focused, ladies and gentlemen. We have work to do. There are still many days to election. The work is not over. While we continue to, come to assemble in thousands, let us go back to the villages and do what we have to do, ladies and gentlemen. Because there is a war that has been waged against Roosevelt's courage and the Dominican Labour Party. And it's important that the warriors of labor stand in solidarity and in defense of the Labour Party and its leader. Because, ladies and gentlemen, your support has caused us to be strong and resilient. Your support has told us that there is a voice of reasoning in this country. That there are people who are concerned about the welfare and well-being of Dominica. And these people are you, the God-fearing good people of Dominica were interested in the future of Dominica. Because, ladies and gentlemen, when the other side come to you, they only talk about Roosevelt's scary, 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 ladies and gentlemen. But when they are through talking about scary, must tell them, okay, boss man, you have spoken about scary, tell me what it is that you are going to do for us in Dominica. Tell us how we are going to create jobs in the economy. 
Tell us how you will address the social issues confronting our people. Tell us how you will address the issue of housing to ensure that the single parents who are having difficulties in their communities and villages can have a decent home so their children can study and do well. Tell us how you're going to create and expand the Yes We Care program to look out for the welfare of the senior citizens of Dominica. Tell the students and children how are you going to create more opportunities for them to educate themselves so they can get out of poverty and assist the country and their communities and their families. These are the fundamental questions, ladies and gentlemen. And when they seek to answer you, you must also ask them, tell us how you intend to finance those programs. Tell us how. Because the friends of Dominica, the friends of Dominicans, who have been helping us with tens of millions of the taxpayers' money, the opposition continue to vilify the leaders and vilify the people. We cannot be, we cannot be at the same time receiving money from friends and on the other hand curse them, ladies and gentlemen. We must be grateful. I must demonstrate our gratitude by saying thanks to the people. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the party, the only party now in this country that cares for people Dominica. Edison James, Edison James doesn't care about you, people Dominica. He still holds you responsible for kicking him out of office because he came and he told you that he is in charge and he is on stage, ladies and gentlemen. And you responded to him and let him know that you, people of Dominica, are in charge of your future. You are responsible for your future and you elect governments to serve you and to be there for you in good times and in bad times and particularly in bad times. And we've responded to you. You know, after natural disasters, this government has come out and assisted you, the people of Dominica, to rebuild your homes and to fix your homes. The fishermen know very well our tremendous assistance to them after Hurricane Omar. The farmers know very well that had it not been for this government and the caring nature of the government, many farmers would have lost their jobs because they would not have money to go back to the farms and were able to feed the families. That is a government, ladies and gentlemen, that's concerned about people of Dominica. And to come to come to Dominica in 2009 and to say to the people of Dominica that you will build an international in 18 months, ladies and gentlemen, is disgraceful and disrespectful to us. And you must go to the polls on December 18th and tell